Welcome to the talk. My name is Yongli. I'm a PhD student in George Mason University. We create a new programming language called Ahada AI, which is compatible markdown for linear algebra. AI is short for linear algebra. This is a joint work with Dr. Shweb Kamiel from Adobe Research, Professor Erica Jacobson from University of Toronto and Adobe Research, and my advisor, Professor Yutam Gingold from George Mason University. As a PhD student, we often need to evaluate a paper. We read the paper over and find the formula. For this example, we may first implement it by C++. During implementation, it's easy to create bugs that we may never notice. Later on, we may switch to Python and need to re-implement the same formula again. In general, it's inconvenient to maintain the consistency here especially when the formula itself has typos sometimes. We introduce Ahada A, a language with syntax designed to closely mimic a conventionally written linear algebra, while still ensuring an unambiguous compilable interpretation. Ahada A allows users to write a linear algebra in text form and compile the same source into LaTeX, C++ with Eigen, Python with NumPy, SciPy, and MATLAB. There are several markup languages for writing mathematical notation in plain text, such as LaTeX, Markdown, ASCII math, and MathML. These are not compilable. The main specific languages that aim to make computer graphics practitioners more productive have a long history, such as Heli, Tai Chi, etc. Other than Penrose, they don't look like NES. Other related work include languages for numerical computing, such as TACO. Languages for proof checking specify derivations, not formulas. Some of these languages also embrace Unicode to look like NES as we do. Existing environments for inputting linear algebra notation do not consider the interpretability of the expressions. Existing programming languages can be unambiguously compiled, but use a syntax quite unlike conventional mathematical notation. Pseudocode, while readable, cannot be compiled or validated. Ahada OE combines the conventional syntax with unambiguous execution. To motivate our decisions and inform our choice of features beyond the core operations, we analyzed all numbered equations and some unnumbered equations from all technical papers published at the CGRAP 2019. We take an empirical approach to language design and categorize all 1,987 equations. Here is an overview of them. Although when programming, we are encouraged to use long and descriptive variable names. It's almost unheard of in conventionally written math. Single letter variables prevent ambiguity during multiplication, which is implied by juxtaposing or placing two variables side by side. Unlike in traditional programming languages, single letter variables in math have decorations like you would see with Unicode. Ahara A adopts these ideas to look and feel like a conventionally written math. We encourage single letter variable names, which allows for unambiguous multiplication by juxtaposition and a convenient syntax for accessing matrix elements. This has implications for the compiler design, which I will discuss later. Unicode allows for a large number of expressive variable names, including text decorations. Many editors, including our own, can perform convenient Unicode substitutions. We support backticks to enclose ambiguous long names. Variable names cannot be redefined and the compatible matrix and vector dimensions are statically checked at a compiled time. Ahada A supports sparse and dense matrices. Matrices can be formatted with 2D elements separated by spaces and new lines. In the left example, A and K are both scalars. It defines L as a normal two by two matrix. While the right example is a block matrix, it has matrices with known dimensions in the counter diagonal. 
and it has identity matrix and a zero in the diagonal. Zero here will be lifted to a zero matrix. And the dimensions of the identity matrix and the zero matrix can both be inferred, which together defines the L matrix with known dimensions. Here are examples for element-wise definition. In the left example, the dimension of L is the same as the matrix N. The right example defines a sparse matrix and it requires a type of decoration. Since the elements LL are defined conditionally, the dimensions of L can't otherwise be determined since there may be additional zeros to the right or below the elements of E. Here are some examples for externally defined functions such as PF, WX, etc. Individual expressions often don't exist in isolation. Similarly, many equations assume the existence of well-known trigonometric functions, such as sine, cosine, etc. Ahad IO is intended to integrate with existing programming environments. It can make use of externally defined functions. We also provide built-in functions. They can be used directly or imported from libraries such as trigonometric and linear algebra. Here are examples of summations, which sometimes have implicit index ranges, are nested, or are part of larger expressions. Note that the summation operation does not often enclose its semand with parentheses. There is some ambiguity in conventionally written math on the following example. It has two interpretations. This ambiguity grows in complexity if there are additional terms also involving summation, such as these examples. For guidance, we also took an empirical approach. We examined 10 complex summation formulas found in the C-graph 2019. Of these, Nine were interpreted correctly with conservative summation. The summation operator in Ahada A is conservative rather than greedy. It only sums the first term to its right, not additional terms separated by addition or subtraction. Summation in Ahada A takes its bounds from the use of the index in the summand. In this linear blend scaling example, W is a sequence of scalars and the T is a sequence of matrices. They have the same size. These are examples of various norms, such as L2 norms, L1 norms, Frobenius norms, and the vector norms with matrix subscripts. Here are examples of norms in Ahad A. The Ahad A compiler implementation consists of approximately 10,000 lines of Python code. Given an Ahad A source file, the compiler needs two passes to generate the correct abstract syntax tree. The first phase passes the given and aware declarations requested for external and built-in trigonometric or linear algebra functions and multi-letter variables that appear on the left-hand side of variable definitions to determine the set of identifiers used in the file as well as their types. It generates a typed grammar so that the second pass can compile the correct AST. For this example, it defines the fx as a function call rather than multiplication. We have written code generators for C++ with Eigen, Python with NumPy, SciPy, MATLAB, and LaTeX. The first three were chosen to highlight the ability to generate a code for both statically typed and dynamically typed languages with zero and one based indexing. It's straightforward to extend to other languages in future. We evaluated Ahad A on a variety of examples from different papers, books, and online courses. For each example, we show the original formula Ahad A implementation, output code for Eigen, NumPy, MATLAB, LaTeX, and the rendered LaTeX output. 
we did the same evaluation on all the examples here. To simulate real-world AHADA usage, we collected a set of existing code bases and replaced the functions in them with AHADA implementations. Note that not all code was associated with the formula in a paper written in mathematical notation. Some formulas are just described in prose. We take this one as an example. For each case, we show the original formula, the original source code, AHADA implementation, and the modified source code with AHADA output. We check that the results are identical as the original implementation. Now let's implement a formula from the paper, instant field line meshes. It's in the end of the paper. It's the solution of an optimization problem. We will calculate the Q subscript IJ here. We already have the corresponding code framework and we are implementing the midpoint function. The four parameters in the function correspond to V subscript IJ and N subscript IJ. We can open the editor from the website and type the formula directly. The editor has conventions for Unicode symbols. So the Lambda Unicode subscript IJ epsilon can be typed directly. We compile the source code and copy the output C++ code snippet to the midpoint function. After building the project, we get an executable file. We open the application and load a new mesh file. After clicking the two solve buttons, it will call the function and generate the final results. Overall, the AHADA I code is shorter and more closely matches the paper formula than the existing code it replaced. Importantly, it can also be compiled to multiple output languages. To estimate the applicability of AHADA I to computer graphics in general, we randomly sampled 100 of all 1,987 numbered equations to avoid bias and cherry picking. This is a fresh philosophy for programming language design. Among the 100 equations, we determined 53 are directly implementable using AHADA I. 15 are derivations. They aren't meant to be implemented. 11 rely on partial derivatives and gradients and unsupported integration. 10 express complicated optimization problems. Seven use unsupported control flow. And the four use unsupported operators. Derivations are unimplementable. Without them, the implementable ratio will be 62%. Derivatives and gradients can be passed as parameters. The implementable ratio grows to 72% without them. We conducted a user study to understand whether AHADA A can be learned and how it is perceived by experienced practitioners. Many programming language papers will not do this. We recruited eight computer science PhD students from two universities based on their having at least six months experience implementing linear algebra formulas. In our experiment, participants implemented three progressively more difficult linear algebra formulas in both AHADA A and their preferred programming environment. Four used C++ with Eigen and four used Python with NumPy, SciPy. We can't balance the experimental conditions so that half of the participants implemented all three formulas using AHADA A first and half using their preferred environment first. For the tasks in our user study, the simple task contains matrix vector multiplication and a transpose matrix. The second task is linear blend scanning, including summation. 
The complex task required the participants to create a sparse matrix. Participants were given a test harness and a skeleton code to use in their preferred programming environment. We asked the three questions to assess the participants' perceptions about a hard A on a five-point Likert scale, ranging from strongly disagree to strongly agree. The first question is whether it was easy to learn to use Ahad IA. The second question is whether they prefer Ahad IA to the other programming language. The last question is whether Ahad IA looks like a linear algebra formula in papers or on a chalkboard. We also compared the time it took participants to implement formulas using Ahad IA and other languages. Users can accomplish a range of tasks in Ahad AI within 15 minutes. Ahad AI needs more time for the simple and medium tasks, but almost the same time for the complex task. We find this extremely encouraging, given that we compared their first exposure to Ahad AI to their preferred languages. Users perceive that Ahad AI looks similar to conventional math. There are some example equations that can be directly implemented in Ahad IA. For example, there are unsupported operators, multiple conditions, derivations, derivatives, unsupported optimizations, and others like integrals with implied bounds. In future, we plan to support more language features like tensors, automatic differentiation, integration, and optimization. There are already some related work. For example, tag is a language for the automatic differentiation of integrals with discontinuities. When analyzing the equations from SIGGRAPH 2019, we already found that minimization is an important use case in papers. Ahad IA already has a syntax for simple constraint function minimization. Code generation uses available routines in the target platform. We want to support more advanced versions of this in the future. Integration also appears in many equations. Ahad IA already has syntax for simple integration. Code generation is again dependent on numerical integration routines in the target platform. We also want to support more advanced versions of this in future. In future, we also plan to add new output languages such as PyTorch, TensorFlow, Julia, and analyze and support more fields such as machine learning, robotics, computer vision, etc. We imagine the paper of the future as a literary environment where formulas can be compiled into a library and also improve readability. Some related work such as Scholify is a proof of concept for an enhanced reading environment. A future Ahad AI can feed this system. In conclusion, Ahad AI has the potential to greatly benefit the scientific ecosystem from researchers and practitioners to students and teachers. Ahad AI makes it easier to try new ideas since it automates the tedious and error prone step of translating a mathematical idea into compilable code. Ahad AI can be learned quickly. Ahad AI may reduce the translation loss as ideas move from researchers to writers to readers to implementers. Imagine a graduate student describes their implementation to a co author who writes it in latex introducing an error, then someone else reads the paper and implements it incorrectly. I'd like to thank anonymous reviewers for their suggestions. Tawaki for help for feedback. Thomas for discussion on evaluating programming languages. The research is supported by Canada Research Chairs Program, United States National Science Foundation, and Adobe. Thanks for listening. Please try our language. Welcome to contact us in future.